Hey, what's up gamers, it's Fun Guy here. Last week we looked at the Rush game mode and why I thought it was one of the best modes in the franchise. And when I made that video, I really thought I had rediscovered the ultimate high octane game mode. I was fanboying over Rush mode pretty damn hard. I was wrong because I'd completely forgotten about another 32 player game mode that brings all the excitement of Gridiron or American football to everyone who has never worn one of those beer dispensing helmets to the world of Battlefield. This is a plant the bomb mode like Rush, however there is only one bomb on the map at any time and the players must fight to control the bomb and then deliver it to one of the enemy team's comlink stations of which there are normally three. If the player carrying the bomb is killed, he will drop the bomb and this can then be picked up by another player. So you see the American Football Association there. And once the bomb is planted, there will be a short countdown before the bomb detonates. So the defenders must be quick to defuse. When an objective is destroyed, a new bomb will spawn in the center of the map and this will continue until one side has lost all three objectives or time expires. So, protecting the man with the ball is key. Oh, did I say ball? Well, you get the idea. Anyway, that's the deal with this game mode. Let's head over to the server browser and find a nice little batch of obliteration to whet the appetite, shall we? So then, here we are at the main menu. Just a quick point I'd like to mention real quick is that you should always use the server browser Trust me, you do not want to end up in a game from another continent if you can help it. As you can see, we found our game of obliteration. It's not quite full yet, but let's go ahead and join it. So here we are, start of the round, bombs in the middle, and it's a mad rush to get the bomb. Of course, it is tempting to just run in with reckless abandon like Leroy Jenkins himself, but as you can see, it tends not to work out too well. Ideally you want to finish off the enemy team that's in the area before you move on with the bomb. That just seems to work best in this mode. It's a bit like in a team sports game if, if one player tries to take on the entire opposing team by themselves. It just doesn't work so you've got to wait for your teammates here. Now once you've planted the bomb you've got to defend it. As you can see here, perfect example, we've set up a nice little perimeter just to keep the enemies away from the bomb site. Now you often won't get this but if you can at least have a couple of guys just looking in on the bomb like I am here you will stand a very good chance of picking off any pesky diffusers because in squad obliteration the bomb takes quite a while to explode whereas in regular obliteration God, struggling to say the words now the bomb actually detonates very quickly it's less than 30 seconds I believe which is pretty damn quick compared to Rush for example but it's still not as quick as these poor guys died that took just a second now what I like to do best in attack is to stick close to the bomb carrier and wait for the enemies to start shooting this makes it very easy for me as they will be focused on the bomb carrier mostly and I can just mop them up quickly while letting a teammate recover the bomb if it's dropped I found the engineer class best for this as I could use the rocket launcher to take on any vehicles while the soldiers close range primary weapon options give me an edge in these tight areas. Of course you could make any class work here but that's just my preference. Now of course sometimes you'll have to vary from that strategy in certain maps you'll get a lot of snipers causing you problems and this is how I deal with them. I go on a little flanking mission get up behind them and give them the old bipod knife to the neck method little nosh there and Bob's your uncle oh bless this guy look at him what are you shooting at there bud there you go got him for you what's that see ya most of the action will be infantry focused however many of the maps do have several vehicle spawns helicopters tanks and other light vehicles like the quad bike add to the mayhem and can quickly cause trouble by delivering the bomb carrier safely and quickly to the target. Tanks are great and all, but I think the transport helicopter and the buggy are the clear winners for this mode, as they can both get players in and out of an area very quickly, while allowing most if not all occupants the chance to shoot any enemies that do pop up. 
So that's my take on Obliteration on Battlefield 4. What do you think of this mode? Let me know in the comments and as always, please hit the like button and subscribe for more from me. I'm Fun Guy and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.